Hello everybody, and in this video, we're going to be going over the weapon system and the armor system, because this is something that I get asked about a lot when I'm streaming, and it seems to take people a little bit to really figure out how exactly all of these different systems work. So I hope by the end of this video, you're going to be able to understand it, and hopefully it's not going to take us too long to explain. So let's take a look at the basics, first of all. So each armor kind of has like three sets of armor that you can make. You can make the base version. So just looking at this King Tusk armor, you can make the base. You can make the human that has these kind of rope things added to it. And then you can make the kimono version, which has spikes. Now, the reason for this isn't just the visuals. Like changing the visuals is cool. And you can definitely decide to make a build based on which version of the armor you like the most but the reason really why you want to be assigning yourself to the kimono path modification or the human path modification is because of the perks in the game so perfect example is this king tusk helmet has a perk called nostrum water now this is currently grayed out we do not have access to it and this is actually a really good one early in the game this is this is really really good it enables your healing water to cure all ailments this is poison this is sleep this is frost fire whatever you can think of it's gonna cure that stuff but we cannot use it right now it's grayed out and you see that it has this purple samurai helmet on it so if you look at the bottom of my character where it says kimono path because i'm currently slightly on the kimono path this is going to tell you how aligned you are to either the human path or the kimono path so in order to make use of nostrum water we would have to be all the way on the left on the human side to make use of it so if we go to human path modification if you take a look at that bottom bar right now you can see that i am just slightly into the kimono path if i was to make the human version of this chess piece it gets me pretty close towards the human side we're almost there we're all the way on the left side of being centered nearly into the human side so if i wanted to make use of nostrum water i would probably want to make the human chess piece the human helmet, the human skirt, and I would be pretty much there. Now, each piece of armor will change how much of the human path or the kimono path you are assigned to. So if we look at this chess piece, for example, human, it's a little bit, makes a little bit of difference, but the arms make a ton of difference. And the helmet, not that much of a difference towards the, the human path. So when you're making your armor, you definitely just want to see which perks you want to activate. Like if I wanted to activate presence of mind, I'm going to want to be on the kimono path. If I'm going to want to do nostrum water, I'm going to be on the human path. So it's all just about making a build around whether you want to be human or kimono. So currently I am assigned to the kimono side. And there's a couple reasons for that. One is the wagasa that I have. The inherent skill is a kimono skill. And then it also came with one stroke fury. So let's take a look at what that does real quick. We have battle spirit, which boosts attacks against enraged kimono by 10%. And we also have one stroke fury where we boost attack for a while on destroying part of a kimono. Now I have a few things that's boosting this to 38% because my wagasa only gives me 18%, but my arms are giving me 17. And I also have a talisman that's giving me 3%. So my damage is pretty awesome when we break a part of a kimono. <laughs> so I'm currently assigned to the kimono path just because there's a bunch of cool stuff that I'm currently using that makes use of it. Now there's a bunch of things I'm not making use of. Perfect example is this freaking helmet. <laughs> I cannot use strong arm water. I cannot use nostrum water and I'm not enough of a kimono to enable stamina recovery. But of course my build is, I'm just putting on whatever is a decently high level because I'm getting my ass kicked in the mighty kimono part of the game but that is how I'm armor works so just take a look around your armor see if there's in. any perks that you would like to use that are assigned to either the human side or the kimono side and build depending on that so pretty simple once you know how it works just always keep an eye at the bar on the bottom and see how much each piece is moving you towards the kimono or human side you want to be now let's jump into the weapon system of the game, which is probably one of my favorite things that they added in the game. I think that the weapon system 
is incredibly cool. So here is an example of one of the Wagasas that I've made. And this thing, look how many perks this thing has. And look how much I danced around the upgrade path. I think a lot of people, when they saw these paths, they're like, okay, so I can either go to the left, I can go to the middle, or I can go to the right. But no, you can dance around as much as you want collecting skills along the way. So I wanted Savage, I wanted Strong Arm Spirit, I wanted Karakuri Coordination, I wanted Fatal Foray, I wanted all of these things. So I was just grabbing all of these things along the way, ending up here with this monstrosity, <laughs> which has Sublime Dance, Dodge Master, Karakuri Coordination, so I do more damage, damage with basic Karakuri, I heal myself with basic Karakuri, when I get a crit, I have stamina recovery. It's just, it's real nice. And this system is amazing because I can go here and I can pay 850 gold, which currently I have 11,000, which is honestly on the, the smaller size of the gold reserves that I've had. But 850 is generally nothing and you get all of your materials back. So let's just start a brand new Wagasa and I'll give you guys an example of how dancing around the upgrade path can really benefit you. So if we go here, we have Savage. This is just going to give us Savage. We're going to go to the left. We can bring Savage along with us. You see that? Look at that. Bang. <laughs> so then we enhance. We take Savage with us. Then we're going to go down here. We're going to add Savage to Strong Arm Spirit. Boom. Now we have both of those perks. Then we can choose. Do I want to go to the left and go up and go down? Do I want to go down a bit more and then go up and go down and to the left? Do I want to go this way instead? Let's go this way. So here we get to add Strong Arm Spirit and Savage to this new Wagasa that we're making. And we can just keep going along the path as, as much as we want. We really, have, uh, we really have a lot of options to create our perfect weapon. And you can just keep on going. It's crazy. Just add all of this to it. And then I can go back up. I can... <laughs> it's crazy. The amount of options that you can end up having is insane. As obviously you need to have the materials and the money to do all of this. But by the end of being all the way at the bottom with a Wagasa, we could have similar wa looking Wagasas, but the perks could be completely different. So I can go up here. I'm going to bring Katakuri Coordination, uh, Strong Arm Spirit, and Surprise Attack. Boom. Now we get to go over here. Now I can bring Katakuri Coordination, Strong Arm Spirit, Surprise Attack. And we can just keep going, grabbing all the perks that we want. So I was working towards having a destruction art to Wagasa that has all this kind of perks that help you break stuff on monsters because if there's something that i really 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 need and i need to break apart to get it i'm gonna want to have that so this is just such a fun and interesting way to upgrade weapons you're only limited by where you see the nodes connecting right so i can't go between here and here but if i wanted to have both of these perks fatal foray and i want fog fall i can go here i can go up i can go down I can go here, I can go down, I can go up. It really, it, it just has so many options. I love it so much. So don't think that you are limited to just going down one tree. You can grab a ton of perks from the top and then go to the bottom and grab a ton of perks from here. The only thing that you are limited by is by your materials, your money, and how many spots each Wagasa has. So you can see, for example, this one has four slots. This one has three slots to carry skills along with you. Um, this has two. Obviously, the further down the tree, the more slots you have. So by the time you're down here, you're going to have really a Wagasa that has everything you've ever wanted on it. And then, of course, you can reset for a little bit of money and you get all of your materials back. So it really opens itself up for experimentation. Now you can have two different weapons of the same type, of course, like you saw that I had one Wagasa that is this kind of uh, <laughs> destruction art weapon. And then I had another one that was all about like healing me on Katakuri and uh, doing more damage with Katakuri attacks. But you don't need to have a bunch. And honestly, in the early game, I just kept one because materials were more important to me than money in the early game 
So I just ended up keeping uh, my materials instead of my money. So that is how the armor system and the weapon system works. I'm currently on the kimono path. I think a lot of the kimono armor looks really dope. <laughs> so I'm very happy with that. And it all just depends on which perks you want to have. Craft your perfect loadout with your perfect alignment and craft your perfect weapon, grabbing all the perks that you want. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope it shed a little bit of light on the way that the systems work. I hope that it was easy to understand. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I am addicted to this game. I've only been streaming it all week. I can't think about anything except Wild Hearts. So I will make YouTube videos on Wild Hearts. But currently, I'm just really trying to get to end game so we can start putting out some build videos as well. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will speak to you later. Bye.